Es ist nichts anderes als ein furchtbarer Angstanfall. Eine einfach gemeine Hundeangst davor, den Kopf herauszustrecken und weiterzukriechen. Meine Glieder kleben am Boden. Ich mache einen vergeblichen Versuch. Sie wollen sich nicht lösen. Ich presse mich an die Erde. Ich kann nicht vorwärts. Ich fasse den Entschluss, liegen zu bleiben. Aber sofort überspült mich die Welle erneut. Eine Welle aus Scham, Reue und doch auch Geborgenheit. Oh, okay, cool. I got it, I got it, like, early, early last week. Alright, nice. But, yeah, but anyways, um, yeah, I would like the book that is the 16-ish dollar one. Okay. The first one. Cool. Um, I don't know if it, is it, is it the lyric book or the full song book? I think it's a book on how to play the song on piano and well I think one of them's piano and the other's ukulele. Okay. Then yeah, um I I want the one that's the ukulele. Okay, cool. Oh, hopefully they still have that in stock. Um I I'm so sorry. I so you you know what I mean. Bob, well not Bob, but Griffin and you are targeting each other. <laughs> you you know what I mean by that, right? You're, he's saying bad things about you. You're saying bad things about him. And I'm to a point to where it's like I really don't know which what is which. So I've decided I'm just going to kind of leave that alone for now and kind of just leave it. Yeah, I just I'm just trying to do what's in your best interest and help you out. I do have some news about Grace, though. She was spotted in uh, Florida with a... Uh, have you heard of the uh, the dubstep artist uh, Ava Braun? She's from Berlin, Germany. Um, the dubstep artist... Uh, who? Ava, Ava, Ava Braun. Ava Braun. She was spotted with in Florida. Yeah, and Ava Braun was wearing a free Daniel Larson shirt. And, and... Okay, and so... Ava, Ava Braun, right, was wearing a free Daniel Larson shirt, and, it, and it's posted. And she, yeah, and she was hanging out with Grace Vanderwald. They were both at the beach uh, together. I think it was yesterday or the day before. And, TNT. and they were at the beach, and they were hanging. Okay, my lawyer, my my, excuse my language, but my fucking public defender. <laughs> I hate to, I hate to cuss him out and everything, but he is not talking to me about what's going on with my mother. At, After I've repeatedly asked him, like, what's going on, nobody other than you has talked to me about what's going on with my mother. Yeah, it was weird. I was trying to find, because people were saying, oh, she's... she's... It's, it's, yeah, well, Donna, first of all, is my mother's sister. She always talked about her. So, I'm like... You know Donna? know that Donna, I know her, yeah. Yeah. I, I know her personally. I've met her in person. It was like over five, ten years ago, before I, before my grandmother passed away in uh, 2018, 2019, somewhere in there. But um, I, uh, I just haven't even heard from my mother since, really. And and Bob was stopping me from talking to him, uh, t talking to my mother. That's weird. So that is another problem. Um. I've asked Bob for her number numerous of times. He's refused. And I said, do you know what's going on with my mother? And he's like, no. And he said that somebody keeps reaching out to him, claiming to be my mother. This was in 2023. And he told me that he, was, he is refusing to talk to her because he can't confirm if it's her or not. Yeah, it's just weird to me that the only evidence of her being dead is the Facebook is, posts. There's no, there's no obituaries. You know, normally when someone dies, no, there, right? It, it would be like updated somewhere. So I wonder if like she just disappeared or what. Like it, it's, it's creepy. Yeah. Nobody knows what has happened to her, and not only that. Um. So Griffin yesterday, right, told me that he was in Florida as well. Like, no joke. He told me he was in Florida. Do you... So, do if, you, and if Grace was spotted in Florida, that makes sense. That is... This call is from a federal prison. Do you still think that he is Jacob Sartorius or that he's trying to steal Grace from you? Possibly. 
I, I'm, I'm to a point. Well, another thing is Griffin did tell me that I could believe he's against me. It doesn't bother him. Well, he might be. Like I've, I've called him out numerous of times. He said that, like, he says I could believe what I believe. And, and yeah, I, I hate to say it, but I believe he is still not telling the full truth. He's either Jacob Vanderwall, Grace's brother, or he is um, Jacob Sartorius, because that would only make sense. Yeah. And, and I do believe that, yes, there is evidence that Grace might be coming to see me very soon about the relationship and stuff. Griffin, last I talked to him, he was saying that he wants me out by the 25th of this month. Well, I'm, I don't know if that's going to happen or what. So my anxiety is going skyrocketing through the roof because of it. And you haven't been, you've been trying to call your lawyer and he isn't answering at all? And I'm, tr- well, I'm, I'm being told by the jail I can't. They will, they're refusing to even contact him for a actual meeting, for a sit-down meeting or anything. They're just straight up refusing to even talk to him to even schedule it. Well, I think you should probably, it's probably about time to sue the jail if they're denying you access to your lawyer. Right, and I, I agree. Yeah. And I, I, I have the suing paperwork. Um, I just don't. I don't know how to fill it out because I'm not a lawyer. You don't think that's so- the only problem. Somebody else on the pod might know how and could help you fill it out. Possibly, I I would have to go around and ask, and I don't know if anybody would know how to. Um, but yeah, I, I did actually get two stamps, so I could mail it out any time. Starting today, I could mail out the paper. Um. Also, um, I, so I got my minutes for the phone renewed today, so I can call whenever we need. Good. Um, if there's an emergency or whatever, I have phone access. Um, the, I guess, so the last thing I've, I've talked to Griffin, right? The very last thing I said to him was, so we know I'm innocent. We know because the Vanderwalls are witnesses, everything. I asked him if he knew if Grace is even working on getting the apartment in Colorado. He told me that Tina is kind of being a problem right now. The courts are not cooperating with the Vanderwalls. And there's Tina's concerned about legal obligations moving forward. From- well... Well, from the and then hold on one second. Then Griffin said as well in, in that same phone call that he wants to try to get me out by the twenty fifth. I am um, to a point to where all I know is that on the twenty fifth something could happen. I don't know what it is. Um, it's it's weird, but I believe something is going to happen around the twenty fifth. Well, from what I heard, Grace wants you out, but Tina and the court system are not cooperating with her. Well, it, that's probably because Tina's not cooperating. Yeah. Um, that's probably the issue, is if Tina would just come forward at this point and, and agree, like, we made a mistake, you know, this guy was homeless, and, and he was being told why. Yeah. You know, then I'm pretty sure the courts are going to be a lot more lenient. I don't know. Um, it's, it, I, I just don't know the full truth. This call is from a federal prison. I don't know the truth. And I'm surprised why Grace isn't just, you know, trying to get a hold of me at this point. If she's wearing free Daniel Larson shirts and everybody is in contact with her wearing those and all this crazy stuff's going on, I don't know why she just doesn't, you know, she's she's not a minor, so she can be her own legal guardian. She should be. She should just 100% just be herself and just call me. Or try, try to get a hold of me. I, I don't know. But... It's, it's weird, and it, 
things are not looking good. It looks like I'm expected to be transferred sometime in December to Springfield if I don't hear back from Tino. And it's not looking good. Well, the twenty fifth right is now. well. The twenty fifth is less than a week away, and then we'll we'll see if Griffin is lying to you or not when the twenty fifth comes around. But I'm sure the Vanderwalls have a lot to do with your case. But I think the government as well. If you take a step back and look at it, you were doing so good. You were about to sign a several million dollar record deal. People were saying you should run for president when you're old enough. You were so successful, and then I think the government just said this guy is too successful. We need to. You know, no, I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. I think I was becoming way too successful, too fast, and just like Trump, pretty much, where they just are like, nope, we don't want this guy. He's gaining too much power too quickly. And the government just tries to screw things up. And that's exactly what happened. There's nothing on my end that says that I should still be in custody. And even my legal paperwork in my legal discovery, it says um, the legal presumption of the on my indictment. It says the legal presumption of detention is not and not is highlighted, not applicable to this defendant. But they Meaning still. I should have never, and they still went ahead and held me. Yeah, you should at least get a bond so we could bond you out. But but they won't and even I give you a bond. I don't think. I don't think they're going to do a bond. And if they do a bond, I'm pretty sure they're going to try to take all of my record label money and keep me homeless. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's a big... Uh, it's very confusing. I think the main thing we should focus on right now is the relationship with Grace and making sure that nobody messes up your relationship with Grace. That's what needs to happen, yeah. Another thing is Griffin keeps saying that he's going to come visit me and that Grace is coming too. I don't know, he lives in St. Louis, uh, so that's pretty far. Yeah, well, St. Louis is the same state of, of Missouri, which is scary, too, because he's like, I'm going to come visit you when you're in Springfield. And I've been told by several people that not to trust him, including Bob. But the thing is, if, if he's in contact with Tina, you see what I mean? And he's trying to help out or helping out with whatever I don't want to lose that contact because he's helping I'm in I'm in a rock and a hard place definitely I think uh I don't know are are you going to allow him to visit you in Springfield he might have something up his sleeve I to be honest I don't trust him I don't trust him with that I trust Grace and I trust um I trust Bob and maybe Tina yeah, well, tell him to have but Grace visit I'm to a point. I'm to a point I'm losing trust in just the entire legal system at this point on top of some family. Yeah, I would just tell Griffin, have Grace visit you alone instead of him and Grace. Just send Grace. Yeah, but anyways, I got I to gotta go, okay? The phone's about to cut out. I'm going to try to get a hold of him next and see what's going on, okay? Okay, give me, keep me updated. Have a good night. All right, all right, bye. Yeah.